oh yeah so it looks like um the parties and the raves and the scene is back in berlin it looks like from what the last couple of weeks or so most places that have the ability to do outdoor dancing and raving have been opened up to some capacity um i think the previous weekend a few places opened up and then i think the rest of them are going to open the, this weekend coming from like the first of july onwards um or the second of july onwards so on the friday it feels like most places will have the ability to have basically dancing back allowed because i think most places were only allowing people to sit outside and stuff and as a big fan of berlin itself you know i go all the time i've you know prior to the pandemic i'd at least go once per year it is quite frustrating to see that they're able to go back to dancing and having parties again and whatnot when we were somewhat ahead of them in kind of our covid recovery and vaccinations and whatnot and you know if things would have gone to plan we would have probably been already what two or three weeks into being back on the dance floor but now somehow in a weird twist of faith now we're having to watch berlin from the other side of a pond kind of with admiring glances at what they're able to achieve over there in such a short space of time again it goes to show the complete crazy mishandling of the situation here in the uk but also maybe such a good job that they've been able to do in germany because there was a point in time when they still had curfews only a few months ago right in some um provinces in germany people were not allowed to buy alcohol at a certain time not to go shops not be out on the streets and now to be in a position where clubs are able to basically reopen and dance floors are allowed you know to have people on them again dancing sweating and having a good time is great to see and one example of this that happened i think a few weeks ago or a couple of weeks ago is courtesy of this guy on Instagram, a follower called Patrick Mason, is a DJ himself. Who I discovered courtesy of Hua, how have you pronounce that? Hua, 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 Berlin um, channel, the one that's filmed in that kind of really cool toilet or shower room whatever it looks like and um he put on it looks like an event at this place called Funk is it no no Funk House no the place called uh Pro Zealand Poziland Poziland Bar is that what it's called right I think it's called Poziland Bar this is courtesy of his Instagram caption here it says the following we reached for the stars and laid them to your feet to dance upon them this phrase would describe best of what happened last night at the Poziland Bar Berlin is back baby I, I and, and nothing can hold us back anymore he basically says yeah I want to say a big thank you to everyone who came out and turned the fuck out I honestly and without any shame can say that I cried twice that night I can't wait to cry on dance floor too I'm looking forward to it so just too beautiful to see all these people strangers and friends dancing flirting and smiling with each other yeah imagine what flirting's like on a dance floor now who's who's had a good flirt no one's had a good flirt in a while no one's had a good little kind of you know i fuck from across the room no one's had a good little shoulder shuffle with a stranger you know a little step on someone's toe accident i'm sorry you get stuck making conversations suddenly that person's your best friend no one's done any of that so to get that right now Ooh, what a privilege what a chance it continues here it says this is what life is truly about love compassion respect joy and more love i packed some of my favorite moments of last night into the slides and also absolutely wonderfully captured vibe video by this person zb zbm gbm thanks a lot man painting such a beautiful picture for our free phoenix and my back-to-back -back set last night and also a huge thank you to the whole staff at the Proziland Bar, especially Marcus and I am Chocolate T, all the DJs, the bar staff and everyone involved in general. The next one is coming soon, so get ready, baby. Do you think we can top the last one? You bet your sweet ass we will. And of course, we've got this excellent picture of Patrick Mason himself wearing those amazing Rick Owens kiss inspired booties. And let's look at the slides of what actually occurred on the night itself. Put the sound on. How I've missed, how I've missed that. Being next to a massive speaker, a massive sound system and just putting your hand on it and letting that thing just vibrate all over your body like oh there's nothing there's nothing quite like it but again like i said i think it's going to get some getting some used to it's going to get some getting used to to be on the dance floor again and having that you know such loud music be able to kind of rattle through your eardrums i think we're probably going to need some i'm probably going to need a little bit of time maybe a, a couple of earplugs here and there the first occasions because i used to just love standing in front of a sound system and just kind of hearing it just rattle through my head and having it kind of ring as you're going outside nothing better than that honestly nothing better and again how much better do these things look 
than all the other play grades we saw over the last year or so. Don't get me wrong, you know, some of these play grades, you look at them, you're like, oh my God, well, how nice would it be to be in such an idyllic place, all these kind of exotic locations all over the world. You know, most of them were third world countries that were on their knees with COVID, but, you know, taking out that and just being selfish and looking at it from a purely hedonistic point of view, it did look somewhat cool. But in terms of a party, it looked dead, right? They all looked so terrible. No one's looking like they're having fun, uh, which, which is understandable because most of the people there were fairly affluent and people who had the ability to basically you know up sticks and leave and go to a nicer location to enjoy whatever they can during this kind of really weird period but there is nothing quite like just having you know um somewhat democratic dance floor quote unquote with just people from all walks of life being able to dance and enjoy themselves in a somewhat legal way there's no real beating it at all because this is what you get you get this amazing energy so let's play the video <laughs> Next one. Come on, you wanna go load for me? <clears throat> What's the next one saying? Come on, load, 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 load. No, it's not having it. Okay, we'll have to go back. Ugh. What's it doing this for? Load. <clears throat> okay, got to do this again. Come on. Sometimes this Instagram thing is always getting on my nerves, getting on my nerves because it doesn't work when it should. But it should work now. Hopefully, if we get it up on this screen, it should work pretty decently. Let's go. Next one. Nope. This one, there we go. Doing that for again. Oh, let's just play again. Come on. There we go. Look at that. so much FOMO, so much jealousy in my heart right now watching this video honestly how did we get in a position where these guys are ahead of us in terms of reopening the flipping dance floors and the nighttime economy how does that make any sense honestly so frustrating next slide look at that Oops. This looks so great, doesn't it? It looks like um, it, it looks like a little. From what I've seen of pictures, it's like a little bar. It looks like it's on the side or next to a river, kind of similar to what the club division there would be, but it's a little bit more free form. There's like a bar area that you can kind of go in to get drinks from, but the rest of it kind of feels like it's just like a big open space. So you can just kind of sit and dance wherever you want to be, and the booth is somehow um. Um, what's that thing called they can move the booth around it's like a wooden box where the DJ booth is so you can kind of put it in different positions but it looks amazing and again in during the Berlin summers when the weather is beautiful and it's hot as fuck and, you know everyone there is fairly naked for the most part don't get me wrong they love to get naked even when it's cold over there but still it looks flipping amazing <laughs> This is the kind of thing that, you know, when someone tells you about it, you'll be so pissed that you missed out on, right? It's a sort of party, like, especially the f always the first thing back from a long pause or whatever celebration, birthday thing, you just need to go. So for those that didn't go to this sort of stuff and you see in these videos, you're probably kind of kicking yourself because you're never going to replicate this feeling of the first time out, which is probably why it's so important for myself, especially that I go to the first thing. doesn't matter what it is, even if it's a shitty night at egg somewhere. And like I said, you know, get myself a little, you know, uh, play, uh, What's that thing? What's that thing called? The streets. Who's got the bag, right? And then make sure I got a cheeky bag of flipping ketamine somewhere stored somewhere in my body. And you know, 
take out one of my crappy oxidized car keys or home keys and use that to kind of shovel some of that nonsense in my nose even though I hate it and I would you know I've done it maybe once or twice in my life ever and then kind of be spinning out of control just so I can say that I've done it right just for the just for the lols just for the story and also just so I could kind of cement and christen the kind of you know return to the dance floor that's what it's really about isn't it that's really what it's about Look how fun that looks. People hanging onto the speakers, shouting and screaming. And again, you know what's funny too? Because Berlin is one of the places where you go, for the most part, where people kind of do give you a bit of a side eye or kind of do give you a bit of dirty looks if you start doing, this is a fairly European thing or fairly London thing, UK thing, to be screaming and hooting and, sh and sh screaming, shouting and hollering um, when dance music, electronic music, techno music or, or whatever is playing. They don't really like it from the times I've been in Berlin people kind of look at you a bit weird if you're like kind of you know doing the british thing like oh, yeah, yeah. you're screaming that stuff and you're singing the bass line they don't really like it too tough so it does go to show just how happy people were to be in the dance floor that they would kind of put that you know their sort of you know preferences and wants and desires to one side right and be like you know what even though this makes me you know it makes me red in the face and it gets me annoyed that people are screaming shouting and hollering at the flipping bass line and it kind of brings me these bad memories of italian toys and stuff i'm going to do it myself because it's just fun to do that's what it looks like but yeah man um resident i'm oh, sorry resident advisor um berlin is back and um congratulations to everybody out there that you know they're able to get things back open to some level of normality this weekend coming up is probably going to be a big one for most of the places i've seen um what's that new greece Müller location river sidus is that how you call it river sidus the new location um they have completely sold out of their opening weekends um it's great to see that most of their places for the opening weekends of the dance floors reopening have kind of have kind of prioritized booking local quote-unquote DJs the people that actually live in Berlin which is great to see there's not really been an abundance from what I've seen of loads of kind of foreign people coming over to go and play which is the complete opposite of what's happening here in the UK it seems like all the big events have kind of decided to go for health or lever and book as many people as they can from overseas to come in to basically make sure that places are selling out and all that kind of nonsense so it's kind of refreshing to see them being so kind of steadfast in this that no let's just promote the people that are actually living here that are local that haven't had the ability to make any money doing the thing that they love and that are going to be desperate to play and give them priority especially for the next few months if that in it just because you know you know with travel not being as free and open as it is prior it'll probably be nice to have the you know have those guys have the ability to have a free run-up of a couple of months to you know get some income in their pockets and be able to play in front of people without having the pressure of being able to get taken off of lineups because you know a big honcho guys coming over from wherever else he needs to be and it's going to come under high fee so that's great to see and again for the people out there dancers and stuff the good thing about the places like that is that they have such an, an abundance of great outdoory type of open air locations where you can kind of have a dance and have a little party that's just as good as a dingy warehouse nightclub place so that's great to see no real announcement on the places like Bergheim and stuff and when they're going to reopen but again like I said the club the visionaires the wild renates the this new bar here called the posy land the club the visionaires always places are going to be open um the new greece mood the river sudust that's kind of going up so there's loads of great places to go and party and have a good time so again for all my berlin friends out there enjoy yourself have a great time um make the best of it while you can especially now that it's going to be it's going to feel like i won't say the purity or the authenticity of night left will return to some way because i think as many people who are gonna go out there's still gonna be a lot of people who are gonna be like you know what i've moved on now this break during covid has been a reminder or an opening up of my eyes of what i want to do so there's going to be a difference in terms of who you see in a dance floor but it will be nice in general to go back on there for the people that are kind of you know addicted to this nightlife scene as much as i am so again congratulations to everybody involved and enjoy yourself enjoy yourself